Hello, this is old Mr. Kent of MrKent.com. And the day that this was shot, uh, that across the street there is uh, that wooded area. They have a herd of cattle uh, fenced in there, and one of them had gotten loose. To make sure, to make a long story short, and uh, this uh, guy that drives the water truck was uh, <laughs> chasing them up and down the road that you see to you, to uh, uh, running up and down uh, in front of where we lived there. And then the last thing we saw was the the cow had run down here to this corner and was uh, running uh, up the road that was uh, that uh, we're going to follow here. Well, it took me quite a while, or you know, it took me too long to uh, get my uh, Mini 2 out and, and start uh, flying. Uh, but I thought, well, I want to watch, see if I can catch some action of him catching the cow. And uh, so I took off and... Uh, as you will see, I never did see anything uh, uh, of what happened to that to that cow. But uh, I thought, well, this is a good opportunity to tell you some stories about uh, what a rascal I was in college. <laughs> My uh, high school buddy and I were both in the same grade, and we graduated, and we both went to the same college, and uh, we roomed together in the men's dorm. And... Uh, course we were always goofing around and you know i think probably uh most uh, guys in the dorm were were freshmen in fact i only lived there one year until my folks decided they weren't going to pay my way anymore then i had to start living in little rentals <laughs> rental uh, apartments well anyway so the, i went down here and couldn't find the cow so the story goes like this when when we moved into the dorm uh the room across from us was occupied by a couple of guys who were probably just as crazy as we were and uh, so but we didn't drink or anything but uh, they did and so they'd they'd uh, stay up late at night uh, and they'd be playing their radio and uh, we were trying to you know either get to sleep or study and of course uh, they would they would the whole idea of the whole group of guys there was we just play jokes on each other so <clears throat> they were they were always doing that and so uh, my buddy and I we were very active in gymnastics when we were uh, in high school and I could do 50 chin-ups no problem I could do 100 push-ups uh, I only weighed 135 pounds and so uh, I was you know pretty agile and the room where we lived was just like the one across the hall except opposite and they had this large window that you could crank out uh, horizontally and it might have been there for for fire purposes because it was a pretty good sized window and you could roll it all the way out and then <clears throat> because I got to thinking one day well hey I can get on the roof so I moved a chair over to the window climbed up uh, stood on the the windowsill and reached around and the roof was only about a foot a foot and a half maybe just a foot out from the wall and so i could uh, keep a hold of the windowsill reach up grab the the edge of the roof it was a flat roof by the way and then i uh, just did a, a pull up and raise my body up and uh, crawl up on top of the roof so i thought that was pretty fun well anyway one of the things that we that we did was uh, we discovered that those guys usually left their window open. So when they were away, I'd climb up uh, and uh, go across the roof and lower myself down into their room. And then we would just open the door and we had free <laughs> freedom to get into their room. One of the things that we often did was to uh, uh, un unscrew the light bulbs in their, in their room and and sometimes we just unscrew them and leave them loose but then we got to where we'd unscrew them and hide the bulbs somewhere so that when they came home um, and uh, they turned the light on the light wouldn't come on and, and they wouldn't be able to find their light bulbs you know because it was dark and we did that to them and they played jokes on us too so anyway we did that a lot but uh, the uh, the house manager had said that globe that goes around the the light fixture in the center of the room do not break those because uh i don't know why they told us that but if you did it would be 25 dollar uh payment you'd, you'd find you'd have to pay to replace it 
But underneath it, or up above that, if you could get that bulb, that globe down, which only took three thumb screws, then there was, uh, I think there was three light bulbs in there that you could take out. So we were always doing that and um, taking that globe off and then taking the light bulbs out of every, the little study lights that they had by the desks and so forth. And we'd hide them and then they'd come home and then they'd swear a bunch of words and stuff. <laughs> So that was what we thought that was pretty fun. And so uh, we did that to those guys. And then sometimes we'd haul stuff out of their room and uh, I could, my buddy could lift it up to me and I'd put it on the roof and then they had to get the janitor to get their stuff down off the roof. We just did all that kind of stuff all the time. So uh, it was a, uh, it was like a, you know, fair game. It played jokes on everybody. And of course they weren't, they weren't uh, agile enough to Crawl out, crawl out the window, get on the roof, and come over to ours. So we had them pretty much pinned down there. Well, this one day, um, uh, I was in walking down the hallway, and the janitor was pushing his little cart that he used to clean, you know, the bathrooms and stuff with. And he had this globe that goes around the the bulb and the or the fixture in the center of the room, and had a big old crack in it. And my brain started going click, 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 and I thought, ha, ha, ha. So I asked him if I could have it, and he said, yeah, sure, you know. So I very carefully picked it up, took it into our room, and laid it down and uh, made sure I didn't break it. And then when they were, the next time they were out of their room, uh, climbed up on the roof, climbed, a, uh, went across the roof, jumped down into their room, <clears throat> and then... Uh, we set it, set it up so that it looked like we were in the middle of removing all of their light bulbs. So what we did was <clears throat> we took their globe and we put it underneath a bunch of clothes in their closet. And uh, and see, the, the guy down there is working, the guy with the, in the, that drives the water truck, he was the guy that was chasing the cow. And I don't know whatever happened there. But uh, So anyway, we set it up so it looked like I mean, we had a cup, we took the globe, their globe off, hid it in a closet, and then uh, we um, put uh, put a light bulb, laid, laid it on the bed, like we were in the process of taking the light bulbs out. And then with the door shut in their room, uh, I uh, climbed up, or I stood on a chair and took that cracked uh, globe and held it out in front of me and then let go and of course it fell to the floor and shattered in all the rest of the pieces. And so uh, then, then quickly <laughs> we uh, opened their door, put, set the lock, closed the door, got in our room and waited <laughs> and waited and waited and waited. And then finally, uh, it was probably several hours later, uh, we heard them go in, you know, and they, they're, oh, now they're, they're saying bad words again because, um, <laughs> because the lights won't come on when they throw the switch. And so they're, you know, like, and then all of a sudden, all kinds of foul language comes <laughs> out of their mouth. They were really, really mad. It wasn't funny anymore. They were mad because what they figured out was that we had, when we were, you know, what they thought, of course, was when we were uh, taking out their light bulbs, we accidentally dropped the globe, and so it's all shattered. And now they're out; they're in debt for twenty-five dollars. And of course, this was back in the early '60s, so twenty-five dollars was quite a bit of more money than what it is nowadays. Was uh, so it meant a lot more. So anyway, uh, the next thing we hear is a bunch of bangs on our door and almost knocking the the, the latch off the door. <laughs> And uh, we say, yes, what is it, you know? And then, of course, it was fun because we, uh, we went in there and they said, they said, look what you did. You broke our globe. And we said, no, we didn't break your globe. And they said, well, well who, who would have done it? You broke it. We said, no, your globe's in the closet underneath your clothes. <laughs> so anyway, and then we helped them clean up uh, the broken glass. And, and it was all fun and games after that. But uh, we we did all kinds of tricks to those guys, and they they did stuff to us too. But they weren't they just couldn't get into our room, so they had other things like like sometimes they'd lean a, a tall garbage can that wasn't full of water, but it had water in the, in it, you know, like a gallon or something, 
they lean it against our door while we were in the room or in the middle of the night. Then when we would open the door, the garbage can would fall into our room and all the water would come out. Or sometimes all the garbage would come out. But uh, anyway, so those were some of the games that uh, we played with, with our buddies in college. And then at the end of, the, uh, at the end of the, uh, my first year, uh, my folks uh, found me a job working with my cousin in California. And uh, at a, it was a go-kart hop-up parts place. They made hop-up parts for go-karts. And so I worked down there for the summer. And while I was down there, I found an old beat-up motorcycle. And I, I think it's only $125 or something. And I bought it. And then my folks, they were, <laughs> I think they were looking for an excuse not to have to pay my way anyhow. So they said, well, you're on your own now. You're going to have to pay your way to college. And so uh, the, when I got back from, uh, from summer that year, I, uh, I didn't get to live in the dorm. And there wasn't much goofing around. And so I probably got, it, it helped me get better grades. So anyway, didn't find the cow, as you can see. And uh, it was a nice day to fly, though, and I enjoyed the flight. And I hope you enjoyed the story. <laughs> so uh, I want to thank you for watching the video, and God bless. <laughs>